to get through all of the ones that you, you know, can come with the answers with quick. And so then that way you get those out of the way and you go back and do the um, items that you, you know, can take a little more time and think about. So that's a good study tip too. You, you can waste time by doing that, like just sitting there, like you just, like, you was wasting time, so like just keep moving and like mark it, like put a star or something so you can go back. What about the reading and the writing? Reading, you just have to keep reading over the passage. Like, it's tricky. Reading is tricky, but you just keep reading over the question. Like, you should read the questions first and then read the passage and see what they're going to ask mm -hmm. you. And then, like, see if you can find it in there. And writing, it's just writing stories. Yeah, and about that, like, I don't know. I love to read. And even I got bored. On the reading passages, they're long and they are boring. So <laughs> read it once. If you can't get the questions, I read each passage like three times, and they were long too. And the best thing I like this is how my teacher taught us. It's gonna be four point answers and six point. You know, six point answers and two point answers. Two points, you write two sentences. Four points, write four or more sentences. Six points, six or more sentences. So you. You know, you can't, they can't, like, dock points. So if I wrote six sentences for a six-point answer and I missed two, I still get, you know, the remainder of the points. That's how we learn that. And the writing, make sure you don't have run-on sentences. Because I know I do that a lot. Like, I just keep writing and keep writing. Oh, period. Keep writing, like, paragraph and then period. And you never have to write like that. So make sure you use your apostrophes, your commas. Spelling is very important. And make sure your writing is legible. If you have chicken scratch and you know it, they won't you need it. to practice they it. Won't they won't read it. Read it. Just look at they it. Just look at it. Oh, never mind. And you will not get that point. You will fail that part of the test. So what I can say is the do the pinky thing. You write a word, pinky, space. Make sure it's all spaced out, not just put <coughs> together like one big run on. Because they won't grade it. And when you write an answer, don't try to be, like, don't do too much. Don't write a big old paragraph for like a two-point question like that. It's not going to read that. Just write what you